Good morning everybody. We're back with another little bit of a vlog. This time I'm going to be talking about a, a an interesting topic. So just to put context to this video, or firstly what this video is about. This video is about one of the ways that my guides and that the universe talks to me and sends me messages. And it's through song. And I've got a song here that we're going to dive into. The reason I'm doing this is because this video, now back to the context, comes right after that last video I shot about my spiritual awakening experience. In that video, I talked about a bunch of things which I then straight after went and played a song and this was the song that came up and it dealt directly and exactly with some of the things I mentioned in that video. So I'm going to talk about it. Um, first I'm going to express, I'm going to explain how it works and how I've experienced this with music and then I'll talk about um, this particular song because this is only a small thing. I've had moments where the song I, I had a question or an issue that was on my mind and the song answered it directly. It was, I, I've had moments where the song literally felt like it was made for me in that moment. A specific song will be made by specific pe people for specific people later on or at a certain time. Um, so that the, it can be used to get messages across or issues to come up and things like that. I've also gone through an experience or a few experiences where I was using music as healing um, on on shroom trips where I'd have a shroom trip and I would I would listen to different songs and certain songs would make me feel a certain way that which would release stuff and other songs would make me feel a certain way which would build stuff up. Some of the experiences I've had one time I had I was driving and I was in a state of mind I was in a spiritual state of mind so I was in a complete rest zone and I was driving and then the first time I started identifying this was that there was just song after song after song of I would have a thought or an issue or a query and the song would come on and deal with it and then I would have during that time the thing would be answered and then I'd have another thought and then the song would answer it and it it went on for probably an hour um, of this drive that this just went on and on and I was like wow this is really happening so this song came on after that video so I'm not going to play the song it's called I'm sure we all know Huberstank but it's called the same same direction by Huberstank okay so the lyrics <laughs> I didn't hear this point uh, but the first the first lines are whenever I step outside somebody claims to see the light it seems to me that all of us have lost our patience. So that claims the light just is referring to the spirituality talk. You know, I'm claiming that I've seen the light. I'm claiming that I've had gone through a spiritual awakening. But then the next, it says, it seems to me that all of us have lost our patience because everyone thinks they're right. That's why I'm taking it more from a perspective of my experience rather than from telling you how you should experience it. The lost our patience thing is coming, it's coming back up. Um, in a little bit. So nobody thinks that there just might be more than one road to our final destination. There you go. Okay, lost our patience. I've lost patience is something I'm dealing with in this lifetime 100%. I have to learn patience about getting to the next stage of life because it's been years that I've been in stage five. Go and watch that video if you don't know what I'm talking about. But it's been years that I've been in stage five and I'm constantly looking to get into stage six where I can elevate my life and start living a career path that I really want. And I always thought it was YouTube. The point was that YouTube was the stepping stone or the direction and music was the final destination. And this literally says, nobody thinks that there just might be more than one road to our final destination. And that past video, I was literally talking about how the, uni the universe is showing me that YouTube's not working, do something different, go into music. My thoughts were always that music will come after YouTube. YouTube is the way there. So it's still the same way. Whatever I've been doing now, even though it's not what I've wanted to be doing, it's still the path, the different path, um, the more than one road, the second road to the final destination. Then it says, but I'm not ever going to know if I'm right or wrong. And that's true as well to the person into the video as well because in the video I was expressing how I don't understand how I'm supposed to get through to music if I couldn't make YouTube work 
because YouTube was that stepping stone. And I don't know if I'm doing things right or if I'm doing things wrong. I don't know if starting this vlog channel is a good idea. I don't know if um, having a music channel is a good idea or if it's just wasting my energy there. And I'm not sure which way to go, which just talks about what I was just talking about now. All these different ways and I'm not sure which way to take. Have a music channel or start playing gigs or find a band or just play 30 minutes a day or you know all these different things but we've been going in the same direction so we're still heading that way no matter what. You see that's the thing. All these different ways you can take any of them. They're still gonna head you in the direction that you're supposed to go. I'm tired of playing games. <laughs> Uh, this is a few things. So this is the first one is the gaming channel. I'm just going with what came to my mind first. The gaming channel is all about me playing games. I'm tired of the whole point of the gaming channel ju is just me playing games. I want it to be social interaction. That's what I want from YouTube. I'm tired of playing games, but also beyond that, I'm also tired of playing games in terms of the sense. In sense of, in the, se in the sense of the term that the games are me messing around with life i'm tired of messing around with my life i want to elevate i want to have a career that's fulfilling and purposeful and gives me the freedom and and time and and experiences that i want and need and i'm tired of looking for someone else to blame is another line here that's pertinent because of the whole ego death thing when i when i was my old self you you blame everybody when you're a stubborn egoist or a narcissist you blame everybody else and you're never at fault. It's literally telling me, hey, you don't do that anymore. Good job. It's hard sometimes. Ah, sorry, I got hiccups. It's hard sometimes to not want to put blame, especially when you go through something like when you work so hard and it doesn't work out. It hurts a lot and I, I'm having to try and stop putting the blame on them and realize that I had a big part to play in that. Ah, sucker, for sake. There's a couple other lines there which I don't want to dive into because I don't want this video to be a 50 minute video. But the next very pertinent one is, was all of the time I spent a waste because so many choices point the same way I was going. So basically, was all the time I spent a waste is talking about all this time, all these years where I thought YouTube was my stone, my stepping stone. And I put all my energy and effort into that just for it to not work out. It feels like it was all a waste. Like, it does feel like it was a waste. Yes, I learned a lot. Yes, I got through a lot. Yes, I learned acceptance and patience and humility and all these these things that are very hard to learn. It comes at the cost of realizing that years have gone by and I still feel like I'm in the same spot I was many years ago. And then it says, cause so many choices point the same way I was going, which is I had my eye on music since the start and now even though youtube's not working out i've been shown many other ways to keep working to that goal so they all point to the same direction but i'm ne not ever going to know if i'm right or wrong that's just the truth because we're all going in the same direction and i'm not sure which way to go that's true as well we talked about it already ah okay here's another one for that past video is why does there have to be only one correct philosophy and this is talking about the exact reason why i talk about it in terms of my experience rather than in terms of what you should experience all the teachers and spiritual teachers and guides and gurus online they all talk about what you should experience how the spiritual awakening process goes there are these six stages you'll go through them and it doesn't work like that you can experience this you can experience everything completely different to what how i've experienced it and still get the same results or similar results so so this saying, why is there one correct philosophy? There's not. I don't want to go and follow you. That, I mean, you know, take that as you will. And why are you always telling me what you want me to believe? That goes back to what I was just talking about. So in the end, I'd like to think that I can go my own way and meet you in the end. Go my own way and meet you in the end. Even though you're taking this path of spirituality and I'm taking this path of spirituality in the end, it's nice. The understanding is that you're all going to come together and that is this video done on one of the examples of um, messages that i get through songs and through audio music is a big part of my life that's why my guides decided to start teaching me and helping me understand i do have plenty more stories about it but i don't remember all of them in detail Therefore, there's not enough content behind them to actually talk about them. Maybe one day if I remember enough or if I have enough of an experience, then I can talk about them. But right now, this is good enough because this was new and pertinent to what I'm going through right now. So I thought I would release this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for liking, subscribing, leaving a comment. 
Let me know what you're thinking about the spirituality stuff. I know it's a little bit of a difference compared to all the stuff like bribed the cops or um, whatever. Oh no, that is... Okay, good. Uh, it was going to be copyright. So I know that the spirituality stuff and the spirituality vlogs are a little bit different, but I personally am resonating a lot more with these. The story times are good for me to start learning to get to the point. But this is where I can start openly talking about what I need to and get the information out. So I hope you're enjoying it and I hope that you're sticking around. Like I said, please go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for your subscription. Thanks for your, your likes and your comments. Let me know if you have any experiences of spirituality yourself. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.